Hello. Um, this is my first YouTube video as an official YouTuber. And I decided to go with something fun. Something fun to me would be a what's in my bag video. Just something to kind of get me off um, clean my nerves and um, get me used to talking to a camera. So let's get right into it. The bag that I have is a Michael Kors um, bag. I forget the name of it. Um, Hamilton tote and this bag is actually if I'm not mistaken is no longer being made or this particular style it's something about this bag that has changed for the new year I'm not really sure but um anyhow I found this bag on YouTube um, YouTube I found this bag on eBay for a really good deal and um, got my husband to purchase it for me for Christmas. So there you go. All right. Inside my bag, I have a plethora of things that are probably unnecessary to some, but very necessary to me. The first thing that I have is this pink bag. Um, what I usually keep in this bag are lady products. I don't have any in here now. But I usually keep like a minimum of two um, maxi pads. I have these thermal um, menstrual heating pads. Some emergency wet ones in case I go to a public bathroom and there's no toilet paper. I'm not ass out. <laughs> so uh, I have that. Then I just have some regular hand wipes. So this usually is in my bag all the time. Um, cause I'm going to always need to go to the bathroom, but for those times of the month, I do ad put two additional, um, pads in here for my use. Next, I have my wallet, which is coming up black, but it's really dark brown. Um, I love this wallet. My mom got me this wallet, um, leather, really nice, um, Basic, standard, um, well-organized, typical, typical wallet. Oh, ten dollars. Typical wallet. Uh, there you go. Next, I have my favorite writing pens. I pay good money for these pens, and these are just a few of them. But I make sure I always have. Um, good writing pens in my bag. The next thing I have is this coupon file organizer, what have you. Um, and what I keep in here are um, letters, um, instructions, these index cards. What I do with these is um, I get 30 to 31 cards depending on the days of the month and I write down my goals and things that I have to do and it just kind of keeps me um, organized and on track so I use this in conjunction with my planner which is also in my bag so if anyone wants to see the system that I've created let me know I'll go more in depth but that is basically what I use it for these cards I'm using as my packing list. I'm taking a trip and each card has the name of a family member on there. So things that I need to pick up, things that I need to pack, a uh, running list on the front and purchase items on the back. So I just keep that there until our trip. And I keep that on me just in case I'm out and I'm like, I'm supposed to be buying something but I don't know what it is. Just whip those cards out. Um, next, these green files are for anything that is related to money. Phone calls, bills, uh, rental property, anything that is related to finances. Special note on the green card. All right. And I also have some additional green cards that I just carry. Um, letters that need to go out, bills that need to be paid, 
and I also carry some planner um, stickers with excuse me with me as well and there's plenty of room to carry other stuff but that is the gist of this and it just fits perfectly in my bag carries all my crap <sighs> next I have my emergency lady bag mommy bag husband bag I basically carry everything in the world that I need not everything in the world but everything I can possibly want and need in here when we are out and about um gosh I really don't want to go through this but I will really quickly and here I have Tums a small deodorant some more hand wipes some Advil Lysol for those nasty toilets or doors a compact hand sanitizer Benadryl Neosporin Tylenol Children's Claritin Some dental sticks Floss sticks Breath mints Breath spray Recola, some tissues, oh. some fungus cream, <laughs> uh, a handbag holder, which I've never used, and more Ricola. Ta-da! And that's everything that's in that bag. Next, I have my planner. I um, found this planner at Barnes & Noble. Yeah, in the, um, in the clearance section. I was like a month too late and they moved everything to clearance. So I just organized the way um, I normally would in an Erin Condren. Erin Condren is just too freaking expensive for me. So I did some research on some other YouTubers and came up with another alternative, which works just fine for me. And that is get one and personalize it yourself. And that is exactly what I did. Um, this planner cost me all of seven bucks. <laughs> and I went to Staples and got some tabs. And my label maker and did my whole personalization thing and created a little card. Basically the same system that I had in Erin Condren. I created with this and my little index cards. Works perfectly. Next, I have some lotion. I could, I um, re what's the word? Re, re, recant it? No. Anyway, I squirrel some from a bigger bottle into this little travel size bottle. Uh oh, I'll get it later. And this. Is my makeup bag won't get into it but there you go and last but not least is this little boy I got this idea from a another youtuber and I personalized it to fit my needs um, this is a mini photo album and I use this photo album to meal plan um, I have my cleaning routine and I also have my grocery list 
that I do. I can go more in depth in this later, but this thing is so cute. And I use a little Sharpie, not a Sharpie, a, um, a wet erase marker. And I keep a running list in here. And when I go to the grocery store, I'm just bam, bam, bam. And I keep it moving. And then I went on to um, a Word, I opened a Word document. Well, no, I did open a Word document. I found some clip art and glued on these nice little pictures. It just kind of personalizes it and gives it some personality. And on the back, I have some little pictures here. So I keep this in my bag at all times as well because I can also house, I also keep receipts in here and coupons, just a few coupons. I'm not a couponer by, by any means, I'm not a couponer, but I do keep a few coupons in here for like week the weekend. If I want to stop and get something to eat, I can do that. No big deal. They're just in there. Most of the time they expire on me, but um, I have that in there. And I just always, 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 always have this in my bag. Because I'm always out. And at one point or another, I'm going to spend money. And this tracks that. And I have my badge for work on here. And that is it. And, oh, occasionally, occasionally, if I'm feeling up to it, I will keep this in my bag too. Which is good. This... I got from an, the case I got from an eyeglass store and I just took everything out and then um, put it in another container but I keep like those little tea thingies and stuff like that and extra tea bags and when I go out and I'm like oh I'm thirsty and I'm at a restaurant I don't want to pay for their tea bag so I bring my own <laughs> in your face <laughs> I have a funny story about this thing being used in a restaurant but yeah you should see the waitresses' faces when they I ask for a cup of hot water and they come back and see I got a tea bag hanging out of it. Completely baffled, but that's how I like it. Nice and free. <laughs> so yeah, that is all that is in my bag, my work tote. Um and that is it. I mean, in a nutshell, I pretty much adjust it as needed, but when it comes down to it, those are my main essentials. So, if you have any questions or would like to see anything else more in detail, drop me a note. Let me know. Welcome a sister to YouTube, you know. Let me know how, you know, what it is to be a part of this huge growing community. Because I'm really looking forward to becoming a regular participant in this community. So, um, with that being said, if you have any comments or suggestions or want to like what you see, um, feel free to click, click, click away. And um, until next month.